Hey everyone, I'm Anne Marie. Welcome to the Hello Basque YouTube channel. In today's video, we are talking about 25 popular Basque names for girls. This video is part of a series of videos all about Basque names. I've just done a few videos about Basque last names. If you're curious, I have the links to that in the description below. And I'm planning on releasing more videos about Basque first names in the future, so please like and subscribe to the Hello Basque YouTube channel if you want to see those. This channel, if you're new here, is all about Basque culture and the Basque country, so definitely stick around if you're interested. But today we are talking about Basque first names. How are these first names popular? How have I figured this out? I turned to my followers on Instagram. I have a lot of really cool Basque people that follow me. And I asked people to submit their favorite Basque names for girls. And so this list is the top 25 of people's submissions there. Now I have my own personal favorite Basque names for girls. Some of them are on this list, but if you're curious about what my number one favorite Basque name for girls is, stick around to the end of this video and I will be sharing my favorite name with you then. The cool thing I discovered when putting together this list of popular names is that a lot of the names on this list are place names in the Basque country, or they have a really cool meaning in the Basque language, or they are just kind of Basque versions of really common names that we also find in English, French, Spanish, some pretty common names. So without further ado, we're going to get into the 25 popular Basque names for girls, and we're going to start off with number 24. What, Emery, do you not know math? Yes, I do know math, but number two on this list is actually a tie between two names. So we got 25 names total, but we are starting with number 24 and that is Alites. Alites is a Basque name going all the way to the Middle Ages and it is actually the name of a mountain range outside of Pamplona in Nafaroa. Number 23, Garasi. Garasi is a variation of the name Grace, but it is also the capital of the Basque province of Bache Nafaroa, which is where my dad is from, Donibane Garasi. So this is a beautiful name that you can call a girl, just Garasi. Number 22, Mirari. This name is actually new to me. I'd never heard this one before my followers on Instagram submitted it. It translates to miracle, and I guess it's sort of a Basque version of uh, Milagros, which is a name in Spanish. Number 21, Malen. This is one way in Basque. There's lots of variations for Madeline, Magdalene, Mary Magdalene, um, Malen. It's nice and short. Number 20 is Mayelen. So very similar, just added another syllable, Malen. Number 20, Mayelen. Also a variation of Magdalene, Mary Magdalene, Madeline. Number 19 is Ushue, which I think is a really beautiful name, but English speakers probably, if you see this name written out, there might be some hesitation there of how this is pronounced, but it's Ushue and it means dove. Ushue is also the name of a town in Nafaroa, and according to the town's legend, the town was founded when a shepherd saw a dove flying into a hole in the rocks, and he followed the dove, looked inside this hole that it flew into, and saw an image of the Virgin Mary. And then they decided to build a town on this spot. So Ushue means dove, also a little bit of a cool history there in Nafaroa. Number 18, Eider. This name Sounds Basque to me, but in my preliminary research, I found that it's actually the variation of a Gaelic name. The internet tells me that is a variation of the name Edward, so it's like a female version of Edward. In Basque, Eider. Number 17, Alaya. This is a fun name, it's happy. It literally means cheerful or happy, kind of like the Italian Allegra, Alaya. Number 16, Maider. Maider is a combination name between Mari and Eder. So Mari is a goddess in Basque mythology, the goddess of Basque mythology, and Eder means beautiful. So it's kind of like beautiful Mari, my dad. Number 15, Anne. I mean, if you couldn't tell, this is basically the Basque version of Anne. Make sure it's spelled A-N-E in Basque, the way I spell my first name, Anne Marie. It's it's not a Basque spelling, but in Basque it's Anne. Anne or Anne is a variation of the Hebrew name Hannah, which means grace. Call me a little biased, but I really like this name because a few years ago I was in Elizondo, a town in Navfaroa. I was there for their annual festival Bastandaren Bilzara, and while I was there, even though I don't really speak Basque, I was meeting a lot of Basque people and I would introduce myself to them as Anne Mari, because in my brain, the Basque name is Anne, Anne, and then Mari is Marie, so put it together. Anne Mari, um, and everybody just called me Anne. The whole weekend I was Anne, everybody ignored my second name, which usually in English I find that quite rude, but in Basque I loved it. I was like, they gave me a cool name in Basque, and it was Anne. I do wanna point out, if you're not aware, I believe this name is much more popular in the southern Basque country, the Spanish side of the Basque country, because if we're talking about French, if anybody knows anything about the French language, you know what 
A-N-E spells out, an, it means donkey or jackass, ass. Um, so I don't know too many people in Iparralde, the northern Basque country, giving their kids the name Ane um, unless they're really, really brave people who are okay with their kids being bullied in school. <laughs> not, not the cutest name in French, but it's a beautiful name um, if it's pronounced Ane and spelled like this. Number 14, Isaro. This one is also a place name, but this time we are traveling to Biscaya, the westernmost province of the Basque Country, and Isaro is the name of an island there off the coast in between the towns of Bermeo and Mundaka. Number 13, Itziar. Another place name, this time we're headed to Gipuzkoa, the province in the Basque Country just east of Biscaya. Itziar is the name of a neighborhood of the town Deba. And like many beautiful parts of the Basque Country, they are known for having a sanctuary to the Virgin Mary in Itziar. Number 12, Ainara. Here we are going back to the animal kingdom. Ushue was dove. Ainara is a type of bird, a migratory bird, a swallow, that visits the Basque Country every spring. It migrates from Africa, comes up to the Basque Country. And so from what I've read, Ainara in Basque literature and poetry, this bird is often seen as a symbol for the coming of spring. And I thought that was pretty beautiful. Number 11, Maitane. This is a variation of a common Basque name, Maite, which means loved or beloved. So Maitane is a really cute version of a, a name that means beloved. All right, now we are getting into the top 10 most popular Basque names for girls according to my Instagram followers. Number 10 is Naya. I believe this name uh, comes from the word want in Basque, so wanted or desired which sounds awkward to say in English, but in French there's a name Desiree, Desiree, um, so I think it's kind of like that, which I think is kind of a cute name to name your kid. I have a cousin named Naya in the Basque Country and I really like this name. Number nine, Kachalin. Don't get mixed up with the double T there. Um, English speakers, we might be tempted to call this Catalin or Catalin, um, but it's Kachalin. In Basque it's like a ch sound a little bit, Kachalin, when you see the double T. Um, so maybe a little confusing in English, but I think it's a really beautiful name. From what I could tell, I believe this is a variation of the name Catherine. I was actually really surprised to see this in the top 10 of this girl's names list because in my mind, I think of Cachelin as like a really, like an old school Basque name, like of generations past. My dad, who's from the Basque country, I think it's a pretty Basque trait of his, or maybe he's just a weirdo, but he has a code name and a nickname for like everybody he has ever come across. Um, and so my mom's code name in our family um, is Kachalin, because she doesn't have a Basque first name, so he gave her one. So when he talks to his family in Basque, he refers to my mom as Kachalin. And I always thought it was kind of a joke, because I thought it was an old lady name, but maybe I'm really confused. Or maybe it's making a comeback. If you know any Kachalins, let me know in the comments. Um, but pretty cool that this name that in my mind is like pretty traditional made it to the top 10 Basque names for girls. Number eight, Irati. I love this name because it is the name of a forest and a mountain very close to where my dad is from in the Basque country. On one of my solo trips to the Basque country, I was visiting my family and I took a day trip up to Irati because there's a really beautiful view from the mountain. It was a wonderful day. There's a lot of like wild horses and I wanted to go see it. And my aunt was just like, why are you going there? It's just a mountain. I'm like, but it's kind of a famous mountain. There are women named after it. So Irati, beautiful place. Beautiful name. Number seven is Nerea. This Basque name translates to mean mine. So it's like naming your daughter Nerea is like calling her mine, which is kind of cool. And just a little bit of history on Basque names. Throughout history in France and Spain, Basque first names were often banned and all official records had to have either a French or a Spanish name. And especially under the dictatorship of Francisco Franco in more recent history, um, Basque names were super banned and some Basque families got around calling their daughters Nerea by arguing um, that it was a feminine version of the Spanish name Nereo. So it's very much a Basque name, Nerea means mine, um, but I read that some people during the dictatorship were able to get away with this name on the paperwork because they pretended it was a Spanish name. Number six, Ichaso. Ichaso? Maybe in some dialects. Uh, my dad says it's Ichaso though, so. Forgive me. Um, <laughs> this name just literally means the sea. Sea. Naming your daughter sea. 
like the ocean. Um, and I think that's really pretty. All right, down to the top five Basque names for girls. Number five, I love this name. Leire. Maybe I love it because it's like impossible to pronounce in English. Like it loses its charm. Like it's really, no. It has to be Leire and it's awesome. The girl's name Leire comes from the name of a monastery in northern Nafarroa, which is famous for being the location of uh, where some of the kings of Navarre were buried. Number four, Miren. Again, another one that's hard to pronounce in English. Well, let's be honest, I think a lot of these are pronounced horribly in English. But in Basque, Miren is a variation of the name Mari or Mary. Number three, Lorea, very feminine name. This means flower, literally. And I also have a cousin in the Basque country named Lorea. Um, and so I was really happy to see this on number three on the list. All right, we made it to number two on the list. Here is where we have a tie. Tied for number two of popular Basque names for girls, Maite and Ainoa. I was very impressed to see I know I made it to the top two because that's not really a common name here that I found in the Basque diaspora in the United States. Maite definitely is though. So let's get into what these names mean. Maite, like I mentioned when I was talking about Maitane, means loved or beloved, really beautiful name for a girl. Not surprised that it's number two on this list, but especially I wanna mention that in some parts of France and Spain, um, non-Basque women will have the first name Maite because Maite is also often used as a nickname for Maria Teresa or Marie Therese is like a contraction of um, these two girl names in French and in Spanish. So sometimes women with these names will be called Maite for short. But in the Basque language, Maite means loved, or beloved, very popular name. Now it's also tied with Ainoa, another one when you see it written out in English, it might not be obvious how this is pronounced, but Ainoa is a place in the Basque Country. It is a town in Lapurdi, one of the northernmost provinces of the Basque Country in Iparralde, the French side of the Basque Country. On my last visit to the Basque Country, I made a point to go visit this town just for an hour because I had heard of it, I heard the name, and I discovered that it is a really beautiful town, lots of really cute buildings, shops, um, and I found a cat there and I spent way too much time taking pictures of this cat. Very photogenic. <laughs> but in my research for this video, I also learned that the town of Ainoa has an interesting history. I read that back in the day, the people of Lapurdi used to go on an annual pilgrimage to the sanctuary to the Virgin Mary in Aranzasu, which is across the French-Spanish border from Lapurdi, and they would make this pilgrimage every year around Easter time. But eventually, the borders between the two countries, France and Spain, closed. So when the border was closed and the people of Lapurdi could no longer pilgrimage all the way down to Aranzasu, they built a chapel to the Virgin there in Ainoa, and that was where they would do their pilgrimage every year. And number one most popular Basque girl's name, according to my Instagram followers, is Amaya. If you know anything about Basque girl names, this should not be a surprise to you at all. Amaya, I was surprised to learn. I never knew what this name meant. It means the end, the end of, I don't know what, the end of something. Um, so kind of a weird, obscure meaning. If you know a little more about what Amaya is the end of, let us know in the comments. But either way, it's a really beautiful sounding name. Again, like Maite, a lot of non-Basque women have the first name Amaya. I don't know too much about popular culture of what's going on in the Basque country, but people have written to me that there's very famous singers called Amaya Montero and Amaya Romero. Um, so there you go. There's famous people out there with the name Amaya and that is the number one most popular name according to my Instagram followers. So I hope that this has given you some inspiration. I don't know if you're naming a baby girl sometime soon or you're just curious about Basque names in general. Of course, there are other beautiful names in the Basque language. There are lots that were not on this list. If you feel free to share, I mean, go ahead in the comments. But I'm gonna share with you right now what my favorite Basque girl's name is that was not on this list. And that is Nayara, which is similar to number 12, which was Ainara, but Nayara is a girl's name that I think is really beautiful. I have another cousin with this name, and maybe it's weird to choose her name as my favorite Basque name. But in my research of Basque first names, I came to love this name a little bit more when I found out that this is the Basque version of the town of Najera, which is in La Rioja, right next to the Basque country. And traditionally, Najera was the seat of the Kingdom of Navarre once upon a time, when the Kingdom of Navarre, well, existed, but also was maybe more spread out than 
the boundaries of the Basque country as we know it today. And so just on a personal note, I've been to Najera and I have very fond memories there because a few years ago I was walking the Camino de Santiago, the Compostela from Don Ibani Garasi um, in the northern Basque country all the way through to Santiago and I had a really epic breakfast in Najera one morning on a beautiful sunny day. So I have so I have good memories there. So it was kind of cool to know that my favorite Basque name, Nayara, is also a really cool place in La Rioja. So there you go. If you've made it this far in this video, thank you so much for watching. My lord, that's a lot of names. Again, if you want to share your favorite Basque names for girls in the comments, feel free. Let's get a discussion going. And if you have not yet, please subscribe to the Hello Basque YouTube channel. It really helps my channel grow and I appreciate every single one of you subscribers. So definitely stay tuned. I've got more videos on Basque first names coming out. I've got a video planned for boys' names and unisex names, which I didn't really know existed in Basque until I started researching this project. So I'm excited to share all of that with you in the coming weeks. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.